August, sobrang prominent na Cyclops pick. And uh, SMO is a team that actually plays it a lot, so... Uh, Alright, excited to uh, have Cyclops back in the meta game. Ladies and gentlemen, game number three, it ends here. Smart Omega versus Bren E Pro. The tournament is under the supervision and regulation of the games and amusement board. Tulan natin ang bakbakan. Yelly Hay is gonna be jumping in quickly. Again, this is the set em up and knock em down style. And maganda ang uh, support. Uh, how do you say? Uh, yung backup dito ni Hajizi, he can really do KDA machine things early on. Yep. You have the Kufra and the Cyclops. Scary for uh, Smart Omega to deal with with Karzizi for sure. Actually, mas strong laners na ba yung uh, already. Very scary. But Kenji with a very quick rotation here. Kaso wala, da da dalawa dun sa kanya first kill ay hindi tawama. Kaya it's really difficult for him now. Oh. Bill pops it. Hindi siya humahabot kay Pew Pew, Mike. Oh, oh. oh, first blood here by Coco. Okay, so walang backup si Kenji doon. And Wolf, was there any reason for that aggressive rotation? May panggulo bang ginawa si Kenji? Yep, it's definitely that. Um, it's for six of rotations. Yung talaga yung gusto niya mangyari. Kind of helped uh, far sa uh, farm a little bit sa mayon. And I have to say, if lang ganun ka godly yung positioning ni Pew, like, alam mo yung Ala, ahala ni Kenji abot niya pero just one or two pixels short para naman si Pew kasi kapsado kapsado ni Pew yung range of attacks that's why he was able to get out of there isang dangkal no? hindi, yung hindi itanama oh. ng first skill nung uh, Khalid but right now back to uh, standard action you're right looking back at uh, the bottom lane parang naka free hit si Toshi dun sa outer uh, energy shield turret so yeah. That, that, that should lead to something. Looking at Hajizi now, going possibly for a rotation. Babantayin siya ni EJ dito. Hmm, might wanna go for uh, the uh, crab coin steal. Well, I guess for now they're just trying to scout the area para sa site ng Brandy Pro. Looking for plans of attack. Um, I wanna say, dahil dun sa mga choices ng Smart Omega, ito na naman yung mga moments na pinapairapan nila yung sarili na Harley Pro. It's just very weak later. Look at this. Ooh! I wish that was that. Nice jump in with the Phantom Execution by Hajizi. A bait play by Omega. Wolf, pinapairapan nila yung sarili nila. But they are gonna get the job done. EJ taken out just like that. Toshi raining down on Flap DZ. Stuns here, but it's not gonna get it, uh, Flapdizzy survives. And then Hajizi now going to get the crab going here. If not top lane, bottom naman. Well, sabi ko dito sa Smart Omega, oh, oh mahirap yung gano'n lang pinaginagawa sa sarili na, but if they do it right, it looks good, di ba? Mm -hmm. Ang angas ng mga nakapakita na yung kita natin coming out from Smart Omega. And if they keep on doing this, they might be able to win the tug of war, at least dito sa first five minutes of the game. And the first, what you need for Lancelot. Yeah, in the first five minutes in this kind of matchup, specifically in mid lane, EJ bursted down by Toshi. The rotate na ang Farsa. Gonna get a few more hits on this mid lane energy shield turret. Can they steal the purple? No, Altizi going to secure it. Turtle now up, started by Omega. Stretching. There's the Dark Knight Falls. Kaltizi gonna come in. Silas is Kurtizi. There's the stun. Locked in. Oh, flame shot by few. Babagsak dito si Kurtizi. That's gonna be Koko saying, you're welcome. Nagahabol. Another arrow thrown out by few. Hajizi, Phantom Execution through the wall. Koko gonna catch him out. Throwing out some blades. But Toshi, medyo na palalim yata. Si Kaltizi down goes the hell curve. That's gonna be a trade once more. Oh, no, Yelly Hayes. Looking low. Put down the poisons by EJ. Yelly Hayes, bouncing ball out. Kenji, Raging Sandstorm, misses oh again. God. Isang tangka lang ang ikinulang. Misses a lot of his kill shots. It's okay. Sparmiga still winning. Look at Hajizi with the sexy moves out there. There you go. Taken down, Koko. Yelly Hayes gets the final hit in. Flapizi and EJ. A little off position. Hinahabol nila si Hajizi. But Hajizi gets away now. Turtle started up this time by E-Pro. But... Carl Tizi is there to take it for sure. And then Toshi, pa simple lang, taking a few more hits again on this. Oh, sumulo siya. Purify. Going to wings by wings out. So far, yung mga palibre-libre ng hit ng, uh, Bren, uh, sorry, ng Omega dun sa Outer Shield turrets, keeping them in this economic game. Yeah. Just 
under a thousand ahead is Brenny Pro. Man, the first turtle went in favor of Brenny Pro that's uh malinit na movements ng nila. It looked like they lost the fight, di ba? Parang ganun eh, sila yung namatayan. But mm -hmm. the fact of the matter is they just made enough time para makapag-respawn si Cartesi. And now they got the turtle in the middle! Oh no! Sumula dito ng pana ang Omega, but there's Toshi from underneath the turret. Full range feathered airstrike. And finally, Kenji gets in his raging sandstorm, but it's not enough. Kobo survives with just one HP! Wolf, it oh, turned man. into a trade. EJ for Kenji. Oh. Man, you're right. Napansin ko lang. Ha? Medyo nahihirapan si Kenji dito sa kalib. Yeah, it seems like it's kind of off at this point. 0 3 and 2 with the performance. I mean, you want to expect from the side lane. But nakikita natin na 2.5k lang siya. Huwag niya makakatapat. It's 3.3k for the Lapu-Lapu already. Tapos 4.1k for the Esmeralda. He won talaga. Ito si Kenji. That's how bad this point. Oh wow, Coco able to bully out Hajizi and Toshi. Here comes EJ, missing the jump, but just barely. There's the Poissons. It's Toshi saying goodnight. Coco gets it. Grabe, ang aggressive na oh. ng Brady Pro. From the back though, bursting down Hajizi. Carl Tizi comes in. It's the Tizi's violence on each other. The trade done though. Hajizi taken down here by trading for few. So six on six. Pero lumalamang na ang Bren Ipro dito by about 1,000. And there's a push already. Actually, no. Turtle resurrecting soon. Hmm. Huh. That's a push down bottom. There you go. Naiwanan na yung lane ni Toshi. That is, he has to rotate more often. Outmaneuver now, Smart Omega. The combination of the fact that Bren Ipro are doing good. So, maganda yung ginagawa talaga ng Bren Ipro at this point. And also, dagdag mo dyan yung fact na parang na sira na yata yung mindset ng Spartan Omega. They're not looking confident now. They really look exhausted from game number one against Genji. Kahit mag-sand guard, not gonna survive this. The Ooh. arrow is there in force. That's a DJ double. Yep, Ori Pro, Flame Strike is back, mga kaibigan. Yelly Hayes gonna barely survive. One HP and a dream. Tapatay dito, Super Tizi, Clap Tizi, Jumped in. Yelly Hayes stayed a little too long. Coco gets it. Four for none. Ladies and gentlemen, four for none. And Toshi's trapped. That's gonna be the sweep. That's gonna be five for none here. E Pro is feeling it. It seems okay. like the replay of the final, my guys. E Pro, even if last is not here, they're performing like it's a championship all over again. It definitely is. Understanding that Brady Pro is maganda. Lalo na lalo nung ginamit na yung pana ni Selina that followed up with a Dark Knight Falls. He just says na really know how to synergize their skills right now. And Smart Omega is the complete opposite. They have the tools, but they're not combining it together. Lalo na lalo na game number two. This is like a re when it comes to their off performance for Smart Omega. Mm -hmm. I think that they really look like they have expended everything that they had in game number one. The Simbreni Pro, they were just warming up. They're, they respected the spec of Smart Omega. Yeah, they're going God's place in the Oh, wow. Look this, diving in underneath the turret. Toshi doing his best with the feathered airstrike. But they look like they are in trouble defensive. Rampage Sandstorm by Kenji. Nice catch in by Yelly Ace. The Lawati na maanan tayo ng trade. Yakap sa pader. That's gonna be a double for Hajizi. Trading out for Yelly Ace though. Bumabawi. It's Toshi down. Flaptizi can smell blood here. Hajizi dealing as much damage as he can. Kenji gonna come back. Ride in his cloud of sand. And it's going to be a reset. Two for two, Wolf. Still very messy for Omega. They're about to lose this turret up top. I can I can definitely feel it, man. Parang may aftershock yung pagkatao nila ng game 2. Definitely. Iniisip pa rin nila. At this point, Kurt is dead weight para sa kanya team. Cyclops needs to really just facilitate for kills. Back to back to back. Kailangan sunod-sunod yung kanya. But it's just 8 minutes pal. 8 kills lang ang smart Omega in total. 7 lang yung nasamahan niya doon. It's really being a problem for Smart Omega. And you know, the man is going to finish that first. Cyclops is the number now for Omega, man. Yep, there's a flame shot being coming in. That's another defensive raging sandstorm. And they need, well, they need two turrets to save them from the wrath of E-Pro. They were trapped between two turrets and they still felt like they needed to back out. It's because that's just how far 
E-Pro is now from Omega. About 7,000 gold lead here. Omega is really feeling it. Dark Seed is new onto Selena. It's one of his signature heroes. Now played as a support. Napaaganda na kanyang performance. I think Brandy Pro, oh, um, konti lang din yung kanilang pagkatalo with this Selena. Kapag si Kiesel jump in, but Kelly Nice jump in, full combo, Tyrant's Rage into the Revenge, or the Revenge into the Rage, back and forth. Basta bumagsak na si Q, and there you go, they're dealing damage. DJ pops D, Poissons, that's gonna be Kenji taken out. One for one lang ang palitan. Still, I can't help but feel like Kenji is, is thinking about something really deep here. That's gonna be a double for Flap. TZ, Kurtizi taken down. Dark Knight falls by RTZ. Toshi with the feathered airstrike. But the damage has been done. Nawala na sila ng dalawa dito. Actually, nang tatlo. And one of them is Kurtizi Wolf. Hindi gumana, no? Yung parang confirmed CC ni Kurtizi. Yeah. It took a while. Fortunately, walang feathered airstrike si Toshi. So a push is gonna happen. The jump, Leo. They burst it out so quickly. Yup, and only two defenders left here. Both lanes pushed in. Nay, all three gonna be pushed in as... Carl TZ transitions to the bottom lane. Yelly Hayes gonna be the defense of a lifetime here. Catalon, Tyrant, Revenge for the jump in. Oh, Flap TZ with a sticker up. That's gonna be the stun onto Yelly Hayes. That's minus one. Here's Kenji with the dash. Gonna be quick sand guarding, but not for long. That's gonna be a killing spree for a GZ. The turnaround, is it real? That's three attackers left. Dark Knight falls here. Nagahana pa GZ. Gonna be psychoning eye away from Flap TZ. Not a fight you wanna pick. It's gonna be a wipeout though she left. And Kurtizi in mid. Sulang na lang. There you go, one more. Couple more hits. Ooh! Wolf, they're defending with all their heart. It's Flap TZ and Coco left here in the base of Omega. Kaya ba nila tong pilitin? Pero pa sila isang defend. Pero pa silang minion. Isa na lang. Pero isa-isa lumalabas ang Omega. He's gonna have the ultimate just to stop the waves, but very trouble. Oh, the kill, it should be here. That's it, Flap TZ whacking away at the base. Oh, oh, but no. Ladies and gentlemen, that is Ren E. Pro going 2 and 1 against Smart Omega. Well, as much as I like to push for, you know, download games not being a real thing.